You've saved yourself some time by grabbing a box mix to bake your cake to perfection, but that's only the beginning. You still need to layer, frost, and decorate your cake, and a lot can go wrong between this and this. In this video, I share five rookie mistakes made by cake decorating beginners and occasional bakers. So let's get into it. Number one, not building your cake on top of a cake base or cake board. Start by layering your cake on a flat surface. Cake boards and cake bases provide the perfect grease-proof foundation on which to do so. Most beginners would initially think to use a dinner plate. These are usually not completely flat, and you would struggle to lift the cake slices from the plate because of the lift edge. If you're gifting a cake, you may not ever see that plate again. Opt to use a cake board if you're making a two-layer cake, and a cake base if you're making a three-layer cake or taller. Number two, using icing that's too thick or too thin when frosting your cake. Your frosting should never be watery or too stiff. If you struggle with keeping crumbs out of your final layer of frosting, chances are your icing was too thick to begin with. Frost your cake with icing that is smooth, whippy, and has stability to it. If you're using store-bought frosting, it's usually the perfect consistency for covering your cake. That's honestly all you can really do with this kind of frosting, but that's a subject for another video. Creamy homemade buttercream is really easy to make, and I've linked a great recipe in the description below. Number three, coloring frosting with liquid food coloring. If you've been using liquid food coloring to color your icing and you don't know why it gets so thin and watery, you've been inadvertently watering down your frosting. Never use liquid food coloring to color your frosting. Instead, use gel paste colors, which have become more widely available in the last few years. Oil-based food color and powdered food coloring work just as well. If you're enjoying this video, be sure to hit the like button below. Now let's keep going. Number four, trying to stack a cake without proper structure. When you see this cake, it's not just one cake sitting on top of a larger cake. There's actually cake boards, dowels, and our boba tea straws inside of this cake that prevents the whole cake from collapsing. In addition to these special tools, stacking a cake requires a little bit more planning, time, and effort. This also applies to a double barrel cake where four or more cake layers of the same diameter are stacked to create one tall slender cake. If you're placing a heavy topper onto your cake, you may wanna consider adding some minimal structure like a small cake board and three dowels or smaller straws to support the topper. When in doubt, err on the side of caution. Number five, not thinking about how the leftover cake will be stored. Sometimes you get lucky and cake disappears just like that, but many times there's leftover cake. In order to preserve the cake to enjoy later, think ahead and grab a cake box or carrier online or from your local hobby store. In addition to storing the cake, having a box or carrier makes it easier to transport the cake and it looks better when presenting the cake. If you're very new to cake decorating, chances are you haven't attended an in-person class yet but you still may have a lot of questions. Check out the video on the right where I answer the top five questions that I get while teaching my in-person cake decorating classes. Subscribe to my channel for more cake decorating tips, tutorials, and recipes. A special shout out to all my channel members and to you, as always, thanks for watching.